This is the Maryland Orphans Projects Foundation School in Majohe, Tanzania. We are in East Africa. The Maryland Secondary, Primary, and Nursery Schools in Majohe, Tanzania, East Africa. This is where I am today. It is September 2008. Marilyn and her husband were missionaries in Zambia many years ago when Raphael Fili Mwaji was a young boy. He considered Marilyn a second mother. He lived nearby where they had started a church. He learned English, he learned Christianity, and eventually dedicated his life to serving others. He completed three years of theological training in college. He came to Tanzania at the end of 2004, I believe, and he began organizing groups that are known as MOP, the Maryland's Orphans Project. This is one of the schools he began by organizing people in the community. He received a donation of land from the government and they began building the school you see here today. This office building and classrooms along with this facility and the beginnings of what we had seen of the toilet building. The goal of Orphans Africa is to complete or mature this project so that it will last for decades and serve many of the orphans in the community for years and years. Orphans Africa believes that sustainable projects are appropriate because it makes the people independent. Education will last for a lifetime with each child and these buildings will be here for decades. Thank you for your contributions and your support. Asante sana. This special gravel has been brought in. There are no cement mixer trucks here. It's all done by hand. Very hard work. In the distance is the well, and this is where the water is brought for this construction job. No pumps are available, so it is drawn by hand. You also see a supply of sand behind the well. No shoes required. To create a well here, they have to wait for the dry season, which is October, November, December, January, so that the water table goes down. That way they have the ability to dig deep enough so that when the rainy season comes, they have the depth for the water to be in the well. That is why the well that we saw earlier over by the classrooms has not been completed. That is going to start again in about a week. They will then be able to dig down into the water table so that they'll have enough depth to have water year around. This is the water well for the construction project. They carry the water for mixing the cement. We are inside the new dormitory building where the concrete is being poured to make the floor. This is the site of the well that is being made so they have a water supply at the school. Right now water is brought in with buckets from another well in the community. The contractor will be here in about a week once he finishes another job to complete this well. 
This is the water well that will be the main well for the Majohe school when it is completed. It will be complete with a pump and a water storage tank. Currently there are 97 students at this school. The school is a sustainable project. They have 30 orphans, or about one-third of the population of the school at present. Some parents are able to pay for their children who come from the local community. That money is then used to support the orphans or Yatima. So the model is to use any monies to bring in more orphans. That makes the school sustainable and will not require future Orphans Africa monies once the dormitory and the well are completed. We appreciate everyone's contributions to Orphans Africa. Asante Sana. You can see they have completed more construction on the dormitory from yesterday. The wet cement is now drying. And this is next to completed toilet facility and septic tank. So today on Friday, school will be completed at 12.30 in the afternoon. That completes the school week. Friday is a Muslim holiday. A few of the students are Muslim, and so the school respects that religion. So the school is out. There are a total of five construction workers here today building on the dormitory. More contributions are needed to complete this facility which will house orphans who have no parents and no means of support. In Tanzania, the government provides education for primary school, which we would consider to be elementary school, but the government does not pay for secondary school, which we would consider to be junior high or high school. The reason is the same in that in the United States the government does not pay everyone's college education. Parents and the students must pay that. It is just a difference in our cultures. This is part of the playground at the Maryland Orphans Projects Foundation at the Majohe School. Today is Friday, and it is a day for exercise and sports. In the background, you will see construction that is ongoing at the school. Classes are going on inside the classroom. This classroom has new steps and a new sidewalk in front. And the classroom we are looking at now also has a new cement floor all the way through the three classrooms in the building. Thank you, Orphans Africa donors. Goal! Yeah.